If you're going on a long trip to Rome, or you're going all the way up to Alaska, or you're hopping island to island in New Zealand, you want the information on your Garmin set up just right. For most of the GS riders, the Garmin is a quite important tool. Some use their phones. I really love to use the Garmin it, because it keeps everything clean and keeps your focus. But in order to do this, of course, you want your Garmin to set up just right. So it shows the information that you need. You don't get distracted by it and you always know where you are. How to set this up, I'm going to explain to you in this video today. folks I basically use two views on my Garmin the matrix view here and the maps view the maps view is quite great if you're in an area where you are not familiar and uh, where you really want to predict the turns then there's this compass view which is fun um, it here I have it set to bearing and heading bearing is the direction of the target and heading is the direction of the bike the sub menu here I never use the metric view is great, it gives you a sense of where you are by simply looking at the numbers. For example, if you set it to um, time to destination or sunset or whatever information you need, um, it's quite helpful. I will explain how to do this in a minute. Here you can also customize the button numbers um, of the screen. I will also explain how to do that. Let's get started. How to set up the Garmin GPS, let's take a closer look. So let's get started. This is one of the screens I use the most. So here I usually have turn in, which shows you the time to the next turn in minutes and seconds. Then the time by which you are arrived, one hour and 32 minutes and 182 kilometers. And this is always your current speed. You can change all of the three, you cannot change the speed one as it is a fixed setting. In order to change it, quite simple, you click it and then you can select the one you want to uh, display. Here for me, I use turn in, arrive in, uh, arrive in, in kilometers and of course the speed which I cannot change. The turn in then gives me a good indication how much time I have to maybe check something else. So for this you can use the magic wheel. Your Click one to the left and then you are in the display that shows you the metrics. In order to change the settings for the metrics menu, you need to click this little wheel here. And so what I usually have is the maximum number of fields, 16. So let's keep it that way. Right, 16 fields, okay, that's all I set here. Let's go back. Then now you can check every single of these fields and program it. So what I do here is, I usually have the arrival time, that's the actual time, um, then arrive in hours and minutes. I have the fuel range and the distance, so I can uh, see if my tank is good enough uh, to arrive at, at the destination. Fuel economy to check my driving, um, trip meter, automatic, how much has, have I been already on the road, the turn in time, so I don't make a miss to switch back to the map and the turn in in distance. Bearing, I find this quite useful. That is the direction to your target location and heading is the direction you're driving towards. So that's also a nice information to have. 
Ambient temperature is always good to know, especially when you get into colder regions. Um, uh, and you can also uh, know if there's any risk for icing. Sunsets is always good to know. Uh, front tire and here the engine temperature. You see I just took a short trip and the elevation. This is uh, it. This is how I have set it up and this is how I use my Garmin. I always feel secure. I always know at what time I need to take a break and I have all critical information inside. I hope you like this little video. If you do, press the like button, please subscribe and keep the shiny side up.